What is going on guys, Mr. Sim here, bringing you another episode in my PSG career mode. Now, this episode we have three games for you, and we are on a pretty decent run. I don't think we have lost a game yet in... well, uh, I'm not sure if we lost a friendly or not, but... Um, no, I don't think we've lost a game yet. That's, you know, we're on a roll. We've got a transfer offer there from Barcelona, which has just gone. And we rejected all offers for Thiago Silva because he is an instrumental piece in our jigsaw puzzle. He is a main man. He is the man, actually, to be honest with you. He's our best defender. He's one of the best centre-backs in the game and in real life at the moment. So we are not going to sell him at any cost, well, especially not this first season anyway. So we are playing, oh, I'm, I'm no good at pronouncing the names, at Nantes or Nancy or something like that. Um, <laughs> I'm no good at pronouncing the French League names, man. It is really, really difficult. All I know is PSG, Lille, Marseille and a few others, Bordeaux. But either way, it's, a, it's an away game. It's going to be a tough one. Here's the lineup, as you can see there. We have Ibrahimovic starting, Hazard on the left, Lucas on the right. And it's looking, it's a, it's a good squad to be honest, we've got a good team now, there's no more transfers needed in the squad, we don't need anyone else. We signed Danny Alves and got rid of that Jalet or whatever his name is, so we've got enough right backs, left backs and centre backs. So we've got a good squad, good squad indeed. And as you can see straight away in the game, not too much happened. And it's not, for me, it's not normally an early start now, we're in FIFA 14 on the Xbox One. It's a sort of a slow burner, sort of start off slow and then get into the game, builds momentum and then takes it from there. But we've got an early chance here from Lucas and he he cuts in. Oh, strikes. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Oh my god, what a goal that was. Fucking hell. Is that Vilhena? I think it is. One of our youngsters, an 18 year old midfield player with an absolute tremendous thump of a strike. Wow, look at this play. Brilliant play from Lucas. Cuts back, a cross goal, and oh my god, that is beautiful. That is an immense goal. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Stunning top corner finish. No one saving that, and look at that. Just beautiful. Looks so good on the Xbox One. <laughs> there you go, guys. We are 1-0 up, and it's the 20th minute. And Oscar's through here. Chips the keeper. Oh, you bastard. Hit the crossbar. It hit the bloody crossbar. But we are playing very well at the moment. The team we are facing, I believe, are a sort of middle league, bottom league team. So, oh shit, that's a bad mistake. They could punish us. Oh, good tackle. I still got it. But as I was saying, they're a sort of a middle league, bottom league team. So, there's, you know, they're not going to have much power. They ain't got many good players either. So, it should be a good game for us. As, as you can see, it's the 33rd minute. Another chance here for Ibrahimovic. And what the fuck was that? That break was immense, and he couldn't finish it. Again, Hazard, we're, we're on the attack. We've had plenty of chances, and a great shot by Hazard, and a great save by the opposition's keeper. We are really dominating the game. It's a shame. We, you know, we need another goal. We need to put it to bed. Put the game to bed. We need a, we need a comfortable margin, because at this point, they could go on one break, and they could score, and it's game on. They've got a great chance here, and I'm fucking shooting myself. Don't fucking score. Crosses at back post. Ooh. Thank God for that. Hits the side net, and, and it is half time. Half time, we are 1 0 up. And it's a good good first half, actually. A lot of action, a lot of different different chances, and an amazing goal there from Vilhena, if I'm pronouncing that right. One of our new recruits, our youngsters, only 18 years of age, scoring a goal like that. He is on his way to the top. Lucas to Hazard to Ibrahimovic and he's got it away and he shoots and it's top corner get in there 2-0 and that is 50 minute, 50th minute goal from Ibrahimovic he is scoring pretty much every game at the moment he is on fire in form Ibrahimovic he is definitely in form and look at this run great strike and that, I had to shoot there because as you saw the defender was closing him down Ibrahimovic is not exactly much and got much pace, so shooting was his best option. That was like a typical Ibrahimovic goal. Very, very awesome. He doesn't score shit goals. It's always good. Now he's got another chance here. He shoots. Oh my god, it hits the corner of the crossbar and the post. 
That was a bloody close one. 67th minute and we are still all over them. There hasn't really been much of a fight back. And look at this shot. Oh, he's dead on the corner and spins out for a goal kick. Damn, that was close. And another chance here by Hazard. And uh, I mean, the chances are going freaking, they're coming left, right and centre. You know, I can't even keep up to date with them. It's just so many chances we've had. I've not even included all of them. I'm pretty much trying to include all the best ones for you guys. Keep you drooling on the mouth. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. Oh, my God. Benzia's through. What a turn that was. Come on, Benzia. Oh, yes. Game over. 3-0. And Yassine Benzia, the young French striker, has got his, I think that's his first goal for us, for PSG, that is. And that is a beautiful goal. Beautiful turn. Lovely, controlled, calm finish. And that is, that is good night from Paris Saint-Germain. What a strike that was. 3-0, 90th minute, and there you go, guys. We have won the first match. That's three points on the table, and that is a good, convincing win. We are looking very strong. We are looking very strong indeed. Can we keep up this run? I do not know, but we're going to give it a good shot. It's very rare that I start any career mode, regardless of the difficulty of winning every game, or winning the majority of games, but... Nevertheless, we've got a little performance thing, acknowledging our good start to the season, I suppose. Three games, three wins. That is not bad at all. Ibrahimovic with three goals on the table as well. That is not bad at all. Obviously, looking at the latest deals, not much has happened, but we've got a tough game coming up against Bordeaux, and that is away as well. It's another away game. That's going to be a tough one indeed, because Bordeaux are... You know, one of the title challengers. They're they're like an Arsenal type of team. They um they can play well and they can play shit. And they're not always in the running, but they're always you know for, they're not always in the running for the title, but they're always in the running for Hello, top four sort of area. And here we go. We are at their stadium. As you can see, the atmosphere looks absolutely amazing with the flags flying high. I know they're not our flags, but it's still immense. I love the uh, introduction, the, the, uh, the, <laughs> the intro titles, as you could say. Very awesome. As you can see there, we're sitting in third, I believe, with three wins out of three. No draws, no losses. A brilliant, brilliant way to start the season. A lot of confidence should come from this, and hopefully we can beat Bordeaux and go to the top of the table. What a challenge. Oh, come on, ref. That's a great challenge. He went right through him and just nearly broke his kneecaps. Either way. <laughs> Bordeaux very early on. They got a free kick. Can they make much of it? No, they cannot. Oh, but look at this. We've got a chance to break here. Cavani to Lucas. Lucas to Cavani. Oh, Cavani, that was a bad first touch. Oh, he wins it back, though. He wins it back. Come on. He shoots. Oh, he's the post. But Lovetti's there. Oh, what a start. Get in there. Five minutes gone and we are one nil up and Lovetti there come on urging us on and what a start that was what a shot from Cavani and a lovely follow up header there and the home fans are stunned about 25th minute now and not much has happened since I've got to admit it's, it's been a tough game Bordeaux have been playing very well oh and a lovely chip through ball we're in trouble oh thank god for that offside but I thought we were in trouble there that was a beautiful chip through ball just offside though, unlucky for Bordeaux, but they have been attacking very, very well, and as you can see here, 45th minute, not much has happened since the goal, it's been 40 minutes of backwards and forwards, sort of nothingness, which is a shame, and oh, offside, unlucky Dani Alves, come on boys, good, if we, if we can win here, I'm pretty sure it's going to set us up for an un unbelievable season, if we can go, we could do an Arsenal be the invincibles of the French League. And shit, they got a chance. Right in half time. Oh, brilliant challenge. Clear it for fuck's sake. No, clear it. Come on. Block the shot. No, come on. Someone. Just. Oh, thank God for that. Thank God for that. Sirigu to the rescue. And there you go, guys. Half time. We are 1 0 up. Away to Bordeaux. It is a tough, tough game at the moment. It's been very, very tough indeed. And as you can see there, the ref pulling some sort of fancy hand gestures to the players, but 61st minute, and look at that challenge, ooh, that was a naughty one from Matuidi, Vidal there sliding in, that was pretty awesome actually, 61st minute, oh shit, they got a chance, great deflection, great block, sorry, oh shit, we included it well, they've still got a chance, what the hell, what was that slide, I pointed to the guy with the ball, 
and we've given away a penalty in ridiculous circumstances. That is stupid. But they got a chance to make it one all here, and we do. Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on, that was ridiculous. This game pisses me off. So this game still pisses me off. Despite they fixed so much of the overpowered shit, it pisses me off still. Making stupid mistakes like that because I don't know why. Did, did it not register that I was pointing to a certain direction? Freaking shit. Well, anyway, moving forward, and we've got a great chance here. Hazard, shot blocked, Ibrahimovic. Oh, but Danny Elves with a shot. Oh, what a goal! This is fucking wonder goal heaven coming from me. Oh my god, Danny Elves with a 72nd minute strike. And look at this for a goal. Runs away, but he gets that strike, and that is typical Danny Elves. He's, he scores some screamers, and that is his, I think it's his first goal for us. And fucking what a strike. Oh my god, what a strike. Not quite top corner, but that was still so powerful. And it's so, so powerful, actually, the camera can't keep up with it. Nevertheless, that is another goal. 2 1. 88th minute, surely we've won it now. They're on the they're on the attack here, Bordeaux. But surely we've won it. Pass to the keeper. And what the fuck was that? Oh my god! Are you fucking stupid? Oh my god, we've thrown away three points here. Oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't even press anything. I moved to the side to go freaking kick it. I should have just kicked it straight away. I moved to the side and he takes a massive touch. Why? Why? FIFA, why? Come on. Fuck's sake, we could have had a 2-1 victory. That would have been four wins on the trot. Oh my god, they're on the attack again. And a slight attack a bit early, but thank god we got that. I'm surprised he didn't call for a penalty or something. But there you go, guys. A 2 all draw away from home to Bordeaux. That is not bad, I suppose. I'm glad we didn't lose. I'm pretty sure I would have smashed something. Um, especially if we lost by that stupid mistake at the end. But nevertheless, 2 all. it's another point on the table that we haven't lost in the league yet. So that's good. It's good news. Good news for us. Good news for PSG. And as you see, a PSG's new hero, Cavani there in the frame, playing very well. Ibrahimovic playing very well. We are all playing very, very well. Another transfer offer, and it's a, one of our youngsters to take out on loan. We will accept that, and he can be shipped off straight away. We need to get the youngsters out on loan, the ones that we're not going to use, build up their experience, their first team experience, hopefully get a few overalls up, and then maybe if we don't want to keep them, we can sell them. So we are at home here to another French club who I'm probably not going to be able to pronounce properly, but I know... Oh, there we go. EA. No, I'm not going to pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to bother trying. But as you can see, uh, we are second. Game in hand and one point behind Bordeaux, who are currently sitting top spot. And as you can see, as the team is coming out onto the turf, we are looking comfortable. We've made a few changes from the last game, because this is a team that's not exactly a strong team. So I thought we'd rest some of the main players, get a few players who haven't had much ex first team experience out as of yet, or just need some game time, for it. Uh, For instance, Marquinhos and Maxwell, actually no, Maxwell plays most games, but Verretti, he's one of them, and Hazard, so I've switched him, because I think I'm playing Lovetti, and Oscar, also a few more changes on the bench, we've got some of the youngsters like Bacali and a few others like that. Straight away, two minutes in, we've got free kick in a great position here. Ibrahimovic could do something magical, maybe. I'm going to line it up 33 yards out. Ibrahimovic, and it's saved. <laughs> it is so not fair. But either way, that is a great chance early on. But 13 minutes in, and Ibrahimovic here. He cuts him with a ball scoop. Finesse shots. Oh, what a great save from the keeper. That is another chance gone wide from us right there. That was a beautiful save. Great angle that was actually. And a corner here. Can we can we capitalise on it? And no, we cannot. Fuck's sake, man. Now the opposition has a chance here, and it's a good chance. We stumble over the ball, but can they take? Can they, uh, what, uh, yeah, they get a corner from it, you know. I was about to say, can they take the chance and cross it in, but they get a corner. As you can see, they're not even pl 
this is I'm first on the computer and they're playing in defensive. They have two people in the box. Makes it easy pickings for our defenders and we can hopefully break away from this. Not much happens and we're gonna move on. Coming up to half time and it's still nil nil. Nothing has really happened. It's been a really sort of not a tough game, but you know one of them games where it's really backwards and forwards, there's no there's no momentum, there's nothing building, you can't you can't there's no good play going on. I just can't think of the words for it really, but there we go guys, half time and it is nil nil. Uh, it's been a tough one. <sighs> we've had chances. Uh, I'm not going to lie. We've had chances. They've had a few chances as well. So hopefully in the second half we can capitalise on a mistake or something and come away as winners. 67th minute. There's a substitution going on for the opposition. And it is still nil-nil. <laughs> we've got a chance here to... Oh, they've got a chance actually. They're on our fucking side. Fucking hell. Oh my god, oh what a save, oh my god, what a save that was, this is from a backup keeper man, what a save, look at this save, oh my god that is beautiful, keeps us in the game, but 88th minute here, Hazard on the ball, gets kicked out and that's uh, 89th minute, 90th minute, we've got, we haven't got no time at all to, to score have we, 1-2 and flick over to Ibrahimovic, oh get in there, get in there, Fucking 90th minute goal from Ibrahimovic, and that is three points for us, surely now. Oh my god, I'm going to show the replays on that. That was pretty damn awesome. And the crowd is going to going wild, man. The crowd's going wild. And look at that on the half volley. That is beautiful, beautiful strike from Ibrahimovic, and that is it. Boom, three points. So this is the end of the episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been trying to keep it very lively. And as I said, free games every episode now. Hopefully I can push through the season a lot quicker and get through more seasons in less time, I suppose. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been Mr. Sim. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it and you want some more. Until the next time, guys, take care. And you can enjoy this lovely, lovely victory. Credit to the underdogs. Without doubt, I think they gave them.